Ralph here from Microjig, and I'm going to share with you how FitFinder users are getting the most accurate measurements from their half gauges. First, make sure that the surface you're working on is as flat as possible and that there's no debris underneath your FitFinder. Loosen the knobs for P2 and P3, but only about a quarter of a turn. This ensures that P2 and P3 stay interlocked and don't come apart during use. Lower P2 on top of your stock, then pressing lightly on top of it to remove any play. Tighten the knob for P2, then tighten the knob for P3. Unplug the saw and then raise the blade up, turning it backwards until the teeth are just touching the bottom of P3. At the router table, make sure that any inserts or plates are level with the tabletop and that the router is unplugged. Raise straight bits up until the carbide tip just touches the underside of the P3 pointer. And sliding the pointer back and forth across the tip of the carbide can help you set the perfect fit. By following these simple tips, you'll get the most accurate possible results from your FitFinder half gauge.